far, you just subscribe. Quite's ha, he just resubscribed for 11 months. Why don't you fucking me? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, he just, he just gets stuck forever. Okay. He's fucking fucking I'm going guys in the chat how's it going my voice is not completely back yet but bitch. it is getting better you're a bitch uh welcome back you had a good day just subscribed thank you all right Teratode just resubscribed for six months thank you thank you uh so let's see here a few things uh number one bsl ladders going on I'm so happy with the rules that they made for this. It was hilarious to wake up this morning and see a bunch of top foreigners that had records like eight and five, low A. Hilarious, because you never get to see that in BSL ladder because you're allowed resets in multiple accounts most seasons. And now you see that what everyone gets to watch me do apparently happens to these other players. They just fucking hide it. But everyone sees every fucking game I play pretty much. So I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, coffee. Um, yeah, a couple things as well about Stormgate. Today, uh, I'll be giving my thoughts. I, I thought about it quite a bit. Uh, my thoughts after playing Stormgate for a week. Uh, I think I have a, a very good and unique take on this. Also, they have... Ex Extended the possible streaming period till like March or something, like somewhere in March. So it's still going to be up and it's still going to be playable, apparently. Not for everyone. It's not an open beta anymore. It's going to be a closed beta now. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess if you're a, a, a supporter on um, the Kickstarter or you're just one of the people that they invited anyways, then you'll be able to play it. So... Do I still know more than you do about Stormgate? Probably. I pretty much know more about everything than you guys know. See, I'm the man on the TV, and you guys are just the guys in the chat, so, like, I'm just smarter. I just know more shit. You like aerospace more than Stormgate? So your space seems further along. I think uh, Zero Space is amazing. I love Zero Space. That's right, Hexerac. <laughs> so anyways, later on I'll talk about my thoughts on uh on the um on Stormgate. And yeah, we're going to just be playing like BSL ladder tonight. It's exciting.
No, I have no idea what that is. How did you get a draw on BSL? What does that... What does that mean? There's no draws. Oh, is that my record? 10-6-1? Is that right? That's like... It must be a disconnect, I guess? Am I giving up in Stormgate? No, but I don't want to play the map that's on the ladder right now, so... Yeah, maybe maybe Dvorak, I don't know. I don't know what game it was. I didn't pay attention to that, but whatever. Shit happens. Is it a new map today? It was not this morning. Maybe it is now. I actually played a couple games today. Came up with a new strat for Infernal versus Vanguard. Did I remove the paint over streamer Tangia option? No, it should be there. Yed versus bed. <laughs> no, it's way worse than scrap station. Anyways, it, it yeah, I'll talk I'll talk more about Stormgate a little bit later on when I'm in the mood. Oh shit, the TTS tier list. Yeah, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> oh, it's a hundred times worse than Zelnaga Caverns. Oh yeah, the Google Doc bans. <laughs> I have so much good shit I could do and then I just don't even think of any of it. All I think of during the day is like how to play RTS games well. <laughs> That's like it. That's all... That's where my brain is all day long. I don't think about, oh man, I got to do this for the guys in the chat. I'm more thinking like, hmm, what TVP push should I try to do? Like that type of thing. Oh, it crashed. All right, sick. <sighs> Blood Braid 32 just subscribed. Thank you, Blood Braid. Skia, thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Have I realized yet that the world of RTS games has passed my fifty-year-old fifty-year-old ass by? Party. No. Do you like the idea of having your penis being stroked by Toadsworth? The drawing is gone? Is I it? think you do. Weird. You know he I'll look into it. So let me tell you how it would go down. Dude. He would first start to massage the base of your balls oh. to get No. That one doesn't get through ever. No, tonight will not be uh, StarCraft 2. We'll be back to that next week. Uh, but Mapu is flying home. When did Artosis' Twitch chat become so unhinged? I tuned into his stream tonight, but it's non-stop chat spamming lewd, lascivious text-to-speech discussing female Pokemon's ability to provide oral sex. I used to watch Artosis a few times per week about one to two years ago, back when I had fast internet. I just got fast internet again last month, and I just can't get used to this new type of streaming content. It is awful. Seriously, it is awful. It's not even funny. Can someone enlighten me, maybe? I feel bad for those morons, almost. It was a Shapiro only night. Oh God, but Ben, 
Abigail clenched her teeth as her hips uh. bucked forward again. It wasn't terribly often that they were in. I know Stormgate is early in development, and it bothers me how people, especially on Twitch and Reddit, are flaming it for the dumbest shit. However, I'm curious to know your thoughts on why some things are the way they are if they have pro players involved in the development. I'm not sure how to feel about so many things that even a D rank player would see as blatantly horrible. It's not aggression. I'm really actually curious why you think these things exist, given that. X X X X X X X X X X X X. You'll have to tell me what those things are, and I I can definitely address them when I'm talking about it a bit later. I'm not gonna do the thing on in a game. Suck those big juicy milkers, you fucking cow, you bovine slut! I will spread your butt and insert my. Hexeract 1 cheered. X300, Arty, please add Ben's voice to the list. It is available. <laughs> I don't trust you with that voice, man. Had some terrible guy in the chat donated three dollars and thirty three cents. Do you ever wonder what guys in the chat drive? We Lord is a clown, so I bet he rides a unicycle. I bet Hexerax drives a Cybertruck and unironically thinks it's cool. Home Smack probably drives a Subaru but calls it a Subi Woo. Dead Infested drives a tractor. We can all agree that Dead Infested drives a tractor. That's an accurate take. I drive a minivan, in case you guys are wondering. As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl unable to mask her true desire. She wondered how could a redacted be so gargantuan, yet flaccid. She got on her knees, 
grasping Bowser's redacted with her soft, supple hands. Opening her mouth wide, she was able to fit okay. just the tip of Bowser. Oh, it didn't make. I was like, why do I have so many minerals? As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl, unable to mask her true desire. She wondered, how could a redacted be so gargantuan yet flaccid? She got on her knees, grasping Bowser's redacted with her soft, supple hands. Opening her mouth wide, she was able to fit just the tip of Martin underscore cheered. X300, Artosis was twisting from one side to the other, his hands gathering up the soft sheets at his sides into knots, and it seemed Artosis' whole body grew pink, and the nipples of his breasts looked as hard as if they were tiny stones. Did you eat all the broccoli Tasteless I asked you to? Tasteless could not resist Great. them. Tasteless the bit right them with here. his teeth, playfully, not hurting Artosis. Tasteless licked them with his tongue, and then he licked Artosis more, and as Artosis struggled, and blushed and moaned mouth. beneath him, she he mounted her daddy. Nice. As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl unable to mask her true desire. Dude. She wondered. Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl, unable to mask her true desire. She wondered, how could a redacted be so gargantuan, yet flaccid? 
As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl unable to mask her true desire. She wondered how could a redacted be so gargantuan yet flat. As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl unable to mask her true desire. She wondered how could a redacted be... As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl unable to mask... Artosis, it is fucking redacted. Do you understand, Artosis? It is fucking redacted. Opening her mouth wide, she was able to fit just the tip of Bowser's redacted into her redacted. And she redacted all of the juice redacted and was just fucking redacted. Barrister Brown just resubscribed for one month. Barrister Brown just subscribed. Then I won't redact it. Peach sucked Bowser's big dick. She sucked it, sucked it. Good. Did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great. Take the dump right here, Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. It was the first time Peach had taken a princess poopy into someone's mouth, but she wanted to please her daddy, King Koopa. So she was a good girl. She squatted on top of Poppy Koopa's face and let loose. Dude. Her beautiful peachy perfumed a hole. Chatter's asking about Hexaract 1's donors. You do not understand the subtleties of Hexaract 1. The donors are an artistic statement. Poetry, immaturity, and degeneracy in a perfect balance. It is showing that Hexaract 1 is more than just a man. He is a void in nature. A black hole sucking all of us in. Only Birdo can outsuck him. You ask why the dono content, you should be asking why aren't you enjoying it? Ah. <sighs> Palm on forehead, salutees. Stay erect for Hex Erect. Retrove a cast, just subscribe. God is so laggy. Fuck. Did you eat all the broccoli I Jinaya asked you to? Great. X3 Take the dump right here. Chaotosis, Bowser asked you know with a warm smile while pointing is, at his mouth. Is Try to Shane aim directly from my throat. With it was the first time Peach had taken a princess poopy into someone's mouth. But she wanted to please her daddy King Koopa, so she was a good girl. Did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great. Take the dump right here. Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. Oh, fuck. It was the first time Peach had taken a princess poopy into someone's mouth, but she wanted to please her daddy, King Koopa, so she was a good girl. She squatted on top of Poppy Koopa's face and let loose. 
Her beautiful peachy perfumed a-hole released all of the shit water straight into Bauer's mouth. Bowser was hard as a rock. Finally reached the top of the spooky mansion. Flashlight in hand, shaking with fear. A loud clanking noise from the bathroom startled him. He entered, fearing what he would find. He pulled back the shower curtain. Revealing me, Optimus Prime. <laughs> Megan Fox's sticky, toe-thumbed hand grabbed him from behind. We did it for hours. But I clenched my sphincter while Luigi was finishing in my red hot steel tailpipe, and it castrated his chode to a bloody stump. Dude. While he screamed. Did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great. Take the dump right here, Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. It was the first time Peach had taken a princess poop into someone's mouth. But she wanted to please her daddy, King Koopa. So, she was a good girl. She squatted on top of Poppy, Koopa's face, and let loose. Her beautiful peachy, perfumed a-hole released all of the shit water straight into Bowser's mouth. Bowser was hard as a rock. Uh, did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great! Take the dump right here, Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. It was the first time Peach had taken a princess poopy into someone's mouth. But she wanted to please her daddy, King Koopa. So she was a good girl. She squatted on top of Poppy Koopa's face and let loose. Her beautiful peachy, perfumed a-hole released all of the shit water straight into Bowers' mouth. Bowers. Did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great. Take the dump right here. Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. It was the first time Peach had taken a princess poopy into someone's mouth, but she wanted to please her daddy. King Cooper. So she was a good girl. She squatted on top of Puppy Cooper's face and let loose her beautiful peach Fuck, perfumed a hole. Released all. Did you eat all the broccoli I asked you to? Great. Take the dump right here. Bowser asked with a warm smile while pointing at his mouth. Try to aim directly for my throat. Mario was heading to the train station to visit his favorite three, glory hole. But he had no idea that on the other side of the wall, Luigi was waiting. And he had brought locking chain clamps. As Mario put his wood through the hole, Luigi latched on with the locking chain clamps and tightened it as hard as he could. Full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon. Quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon. Dude, this is I can't waxing crescent moon. I can't get another base. What the fuck? Waxing gibbous moon, full moon, waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, new moon, waxing crescent moon, quarter moon, waxing gibbous moon. Skipping new unheard unreleased Luigi lore, but not skipping dumbass moon emojis. Artosis. I am about to go Super Saiyan inside of your asshole and make you pregnant, bitch. I will fuck you up. But then you can also fuck me up. Loop me up, daddy, and fuck me, daddy. Loop me up. 
daddy and fuck me daddy lube me up 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 daddy and fuck me daddy Fuck me. <sighs> what? Snud Shady Six cheered. X300, I haven't tuned into to the channel for a while. And I couldn't be happier to see chat is just as dysfunctional as I remember. I'm glad that you like it. Artosis inner thoughts here. Am I skipping these because I'm scared of the staff in the chat banning me? Or is it that I'm scared I might get so horny from all this steaming hot Bowser and peach erotic lore? Mario was heading to the train station to visit his favorite glory hole. But he had no idea that on the other side of the wall, Luigi was waiting and he had brought locking chain clamps. As Mario put his wood through the hole, Luigi latched on with the locking chain clamps and tightened it as hard as he could. Mario was screaming, hammering on the wall, but Luigi, who had been waiting for his revenge for a long time, kept tightening like an indefatigable honey badger until Mario's member fell off. A very intelligent man is teaching class in front of a blackboard. He is giving a lecture about how stories about Mario and Theses are a fundamentally vital part of Brood War streams. <laughs> the new viewers are the students. What went wrong in that game? That, the guy is very good. I actually played really well, I thought. But he he put some shit on the high ground there, and I just he now, like he had his drop ships quick. Bowser I couldn't was stop it. Peach on the bed. But what were you doing, Mario? While Peach was getting her that guy is clearly like twenty four hundred plus. Doing? Sitting in the corner, pleasing yourself. What? When are you going Concerned to make a change in your life, Mario? Three dollars. Are you going to let chains, Bowser use Peach crab, like a back lock, alley prostitute? Chains, Crap. You have to lock, make a change, Mario. Chains, crab, you can't let lock, this keep happening. Chains, crab, lock, chains, crab, lock, chains. Crab, now we also have lock, Mario's chains, brother here, Luigi, crab, as well lock, as his friend Birdo chains, and Princess crab, Daisy. Lock, chains, now while crab, Mario was lock, pleasing himself, chains, Luigi was also crab, pleasing himself lock, watching chains, Mario through a crack crab, in the bedroom lock, door. Chains, crab, and Birdo was lock, watching chains, Luigi crab, also crab, pleasuring himself lock, from down chains, the hallway. Crab, Luigi and Birdo, this is not normal behavior. Chains, this is crab, not healthy lock, sexual chains, behavior. You both crab, need help. Lock, and chains, what was Daisy doing? Crab, lock, we'll find chains, out after this commercial crab, break. Lock, chains, crab, lock, chains, crab, lock, chains, crab, lock, chain. Content policy violation. Goku from Dragon Ball Z, smirking, in cyan mode, with huge blonde hair wearing night lingerie, waiting in bed with his legs spread open, butt pointing up all lubed up, waiting for Chad Daddy Artosis coming in the room to obliterate his ass for the night. 4K render. So stupid. Goku from Dragon Ball Z, smirking, in Saiyan mode with huge blonde hair wearing an Italian leather nightgown, waiting in bed for his husband who is a StarCraft streamer, and is still playing in front of the PC. <laughs> the picture they made the other night, what was the last night, was a little bit better.
Bowser was pounding Peach on his bed. Mario was hiding behind the curtains and watching the scene got him hard. Luigi was hiding inside the closet and was spying on Mario yes, seeing his bro him. hard, made him hard. Toad saw Luigi get hard from a hole in the closet and got hard too. Birdo saw Toad get hard from his nest on the chandelier and got hard too. Toadsworth was taking a dump while FaceTiming Birdo, so he got hard too. Wario was spying on Toadsworth from outside the door and got hard too. Daisy was... Luigi came home after a long day of plumbing. He got into the shower and started to clean off the last job's dirt. Suddenly he felt like he wasn't alone. Mario, that you? He asked, but it wasn't Mario. It was me, Optimus Prime. <laughs> Megan held the door shut with her weirdly strong toe thumbs and glued it with her strange stickiness. I grabbed him and did him from behind for hours until I pumped him full of motor oil. Luigi swelled up like a cheap party balloon and burst in a shower of Autobot jizz. Content policy violation. It's a picture of your mom. Your mom is bad. All the bad things people say about her are accurate. Lowell owned. Your mom. <sighs> are you going to let me talk about your mom like that? Yes, you are. Wake up, dead cheat. X300. I love you, Jack slash fuck you, Artois. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dude, what is the fucking point of this one? You just got sync just resubscribed for five months. What? Anonymous donated three dollars, not me sniffing the Valkyrie's exhaust pipe. Megan Fox, looking very sticky, is giving you a thumbs up with all of her weird toe thumbs. Dwight D. Eisenhower sits behind her in his green cave wearing a diaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crocodile. Next to the crocodile is a tall wooden sign that says your mom in big letters on it. The crocodile is big, very dirty, and smelly. Photorealistic. In the drowsy light of dawn, Luigi stirs awake in his bedroom, a space that mirrors the weariness of his soul. The room, nestled in a forgotten corner of suburban Des Moines, wears its neglect <laughs> like a tattered cloak. Under his pillow, Luigi's fingers grope for breakfast, finding the cold, stiff remains of last night's expired pepperoni pizza. He brings it to his lips, Pizza the expire. taste as stale as the brown brew and air that hangs heavy in the room. Smells like rotting, dead Koopa paratroopers. Content policy violation. Artos is fucking me in my loose ass while my son watches. My son is intent. A wince crosses his face as he feels the familiar sting in his gums. The sink, a witness to his morning rituals, receives his blood-tinged spit with a silent gulp. Its drain, a portal to the mundane horrors of his existence. The bed, a disheveled mess of diarrhea sheets, bears the crimson testimony of his nightly bleeding. He stares the at the stains for a moment. A stark reminder of his body's quiet rebellion against life's tedium. He farts. He sharts. Luigi reaches for fentanyl. 
Each pill is a resignation, a surrender to the day that awaits. Luigi sits on the toilet and starts to cough while shitting blood. He is coughing more than usual. Once he is done, he does not even bother to clean his ass anymore. Why bother? No point. Nothing matters anyway. Luigi takes another pill. He starts to crouch. His neck bends down. He is assuming the typical fentanyl zombie position. And okay, his okay, come on. Act one cheered. X300, but he was not scared of sharted sheets, not scared of coughing, not frightened of rotting pizzas, not scared of Luigi shitting blood, not scared even fentanyl, but scared of the word zombie. <laughs> the problem is you're looking for patterns in how I act and they just don't exist. Dwight D. Eisenhower is debating the Zerg theme in front of a crowd of Zerglings. The Zerglings are swayed by his plan to continue New Deal agencies and expansion of social security. I like that he says well scanned because he knows that he can win with that against anybody if you don't scan it. Retro I find pretty hard in this matchup. I have an idea on something to try though. Because I think on Retro, the one thing I've really noticed is you get like one max. So you can't really attack. Like other maps, you max out and you can attack because you'll be like, oh yeah, I have four base and now I can maybe get a fifth base. Here it's like a pain to get four base and there's no fifth base for Terran. It's very rare. The map is just shaped as such. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Futanari can be made less gay than straight porn. Hear me out. You see, straight porn has one guy and one girl. Because you're jorking it tea, and by it, let's just or say you're peeing it. <laughs> There's one guy in it, and that's 50 gay. 
If you watch a Futa guy do it with a girl, that's one girl and a half girl. Thus only 25. Okay, yay. okay, okay. Come on. Goku from Dragon Ball Z, smirking, in Saiyan mode, with huge blonde hair, is pregnant with a huge pregnant belly. He is so pregnant. He is so pregnant. He is mega pregnant. He is pregnant for days. Pregnant like no other pregnant man was before. He is Super Saiyan pregnant. terrifying humanoid spider creature with way too many eyes and hands is lurking inside your fridge at night. 85mm plus 4K render. Sorry, I was going through a tunnel and think I lost you, Tasteless. Anyways, that makes it 25. Gay. You can try to make it zero. Gay with two girls, but that's lesbian. Okay, David, I got Artosis. I'm holding him down. Ah, uh, let's go, Goku. Great job now, Artois is our bitch. Leave me alone, you psychos. I have a family. David, hold him down. The bitch is trying to free himself. I got him, Goku. Let's do this. Okay, I got his mouth open. You know what to do, David. Yes, sir. Oh, God, no, not this again. Come on, David, do not stop now. <laughs> yes, Goku, baby. Shut up and take it, bitch. a vibrator it's seen as a bit of naughty fun but when a guy orders a 240 volt fuck master pro 5000 blow up latex doll with six speed pulsating vagina elasticized anus with non-drip semen collection tray together with optional built-in realistic orgasm scream 5.1 surround sound system he's called a pervert and very old vacuum cleaner is super pregnant and it looks very tired from the pregnancy super pregnant
like it. I will say it. Someone must do it. When a girl buys a vibrator, it's seen as a bit of naughty fun. Oh, yeah, but... When a guy orders a 200-volt Fuckmaster Pro 5,000 blow-up latex doll with six-speed pulsating moist vagina, elasticized anus with non-drip removable semen collection tray with optional built-in realistic orgasm, scream surround sound system 5.1, he's called a fucking pervert. Oh, yay. Nice double standard. Society is sickening fucking bullshit. Ah, god damn it. Okay, let's be real. If you think Bell's Prout could outsuck. Birdo, you're fucking insane. Not only does Birdo have a more powerful suction on her hot, juicy lips, her thick and curvy body is so lewd. God, it makes me so hard. She gets dolled up for you with that cute red bow, and her eyes have a seductive gaze that would finish you off. Those eyes are screaming, I will suck you dry. Fuck, Birdo is so fucking hot. God damn it, fuck. Oh, I wish I hadn't discovered that yet. Well, I guess it worked. Just say, yes, chef, and guzzle down, you fucking muppet, you fucking bitch. Swallow my Scottish cum, you slut. I want fucking Birdo to suck me the fuck off. I just want Birdo to suck my thing. Yeah. What are you on? 
After Empress Cortana conquered the entire universe, she brought me to her bedchambers. John, she said, you've been a very bad boy. A bead of sweat dripped down my helmet visor. I know I am a hologram, Cortana continued, but I want to get hollow pregnant and have a hollow child. Cortana was really hot, but now she was pretty crazy too, so I declined. How would she even get hollow pregnant? She smiled. I looked down at myself. Somehow, I was now a hologram. And I was male. Hologram pregnant. Tunga 111 cheered. X300, excuse me, could you guys stop sending stupid TTS? Brood War streams should be adult and mature for sipping coffee and discussing adult political topics and job interviews and the economy. Reddit told me that fun is childish and should be looked down upon. I come to Brood War streams guys, to prove fuck, how mature and adult sub. I am not to I see have fun. One of 12. Why don't you guys fuck, grow up and be mature What about Oreos? What is this shit about washing my car, stuff. guys? Guys, what happened to Gordon being sucked off by Birdo, guys? What is happening? Is she out sucking someone? Guys, please tell me what is happening. I am on ad 3 out of 12. Fucking artosis. God damn it. Fuck, god damn it, guys. Please tell me what is happening. Someone tell me in chat who is sucking who and what happened to Daisy fucking hell. Ad 4 out of 12. Fuck you, artosis. Oh, something got stuck on the ramp. Always a good reason to lose. Scratchaboom just resubscribed for 11 months. 11 months. Protoss is pretty neat, man. Throw your entire army away. The entire thing. Just suicide two shuttles in, buy enough time to rebuild your whole army. Pretty fucking sick. I want fucking Birdo to suck me the fuck off. I just want Birdo to suck my thick Union Jack donkey dick off. Birdo, Birdo, come here. Just say yes, chef, and guzzle down, you fucking muppet, you fucking bitch. Swallow my Scottish cum, you slut.
I get bricked up when thinking about Birdo. I keep fantasizing about my dong inside her tube face. How deep does that tube really go? <laughs> does Birdo have teeth? Is Birdo even female? Where are her tits? I guess it doesn't matter. I All I want is that snout wrapped around my entire man meat and my little Daniels too. Hi, Artois. I am wondering what you date me. Like if you found me cute and shit, would you go out on a date with me? I have liked you for a long time and would kind of like to kind of date you. I would love to have a wonderful glizzy dinner with you where we both feed each other glizzies. We could have a romantic night out. That's super romantic. Anyway, at the end of the night, I would remove your pants and suck your dick as hard as possible. And I'm sure... Say GG. <laughs> Fucking Protoss is a neat race, seriously. Seriously, it's neat. Literally just the worst attacks, non-stop. Doesn't matter at all. Throw away entire armies, doesn't matter. Just run in with speed shuttles by time. Must be fucking nice. Say GG.
Artosis, the famous StarCraft streamer, feeds Glizzies directly into pregnant Sonic's mouth. Sonic is pregnant and happy to eat Glizzies that Artosis is feeding him. Artosis I don't know what a Glizzy is, guys. A German uniform from 1940s. He's like, yeah, I have an arbiter too. Hello. Oh, well. <clears throat> He's like, yeah, I'm just playing on recalling in your base. Dude, so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I just, I can't even believe it. It's like he just does the dumbest ape attack moves. And then he's like, well, what if I suicide shuttles? I'll just suicide shuttles in. I have one reaver in your base. Fuck off, Artosis. Ulysses SCV Grant donated $3.33. Hi Artie, I hope that you're in a better headspace today. I'm impressed by your commitment to long-term growth in this game, it's cool to see. Anyway, is it weird that I tab between your stream and the mature muscle dad porn tab? Press 1 if it's not weird. <laughs> Dude, that's most of the chat. Look at this, I'm up, uh, I'm up workers right now. Fuck me, man. This game is so imbalanced, it's crazy. Look at that, up 10 workers. Watch this, watch this, ready? So right now, I am up eight workers, okay? I have my third base up Those and running. We're, we're both mining from Quick three. Question. He's made two nexuses. To prove whether or not you actually know Ulysses SCV Grant donated $3.33. Hold Follow on, I'll play it in a second. How many supply depots do you have built at every stage of supply capacity? Assume that the count starts at two command centers and two depots, so start at 26 supply. Keep in mind that your answer will be on your permanent record. All right, let's get this straight. So with two command centers and two depots, we're sitting at a cozy 26 supply to start off. Now, you want me to babysit you through a supply depot build order? What is this, amateur hour? Listen, every true Terran out there knows it's not just about depot counts. It's about timing, feeling the game, and knowing when to slam down that depot to avoid the dreaded supply block. But fine, I'll play along. You generally want to add depots around every eight, 10 supply after starting your infrastructure, but seriously, <laughs> if you're not adjusting this based on your build scouting. <laughs> on your build scouting, amazing. Photograph of a middle-aged man with an average build, no chin, a large nose, dark hair, a long face, and small beady eyes. He is playing StarCraft on his computer while his wife is bothering him. He's wearing a hoodie, headphones, and a white trucker cap. Uplight. Fuck. Fuck me. That's me with jowls. Artosis, the famous StarCraft streamer, feeds Glizzy's directly into pregnant Sonic's mouth. 
Sonic is pregnant and happy to eat glizzies that Artosis is feeding him. The fuck are Artosis glizzies? Artosis is dressed with his German uniform from 1940s. Hot dogs. <clears throat> Artosis, the famous StarCraft streamer, feeds Glizzy's directly into pregnant Sonic's mouth. Sonic is pregnant and happy to eat Glizzy's that Artosis is feeding him. Artosis is dressed with his German uniform from 1940s. Super Mario is in the background watching happily. Hmm. Ulysses SCV Grant donated $3.33. Follow up question How many tabs in one browser is too much? I think more than six is pushing it, but some of my co workers keep like 50 tabs open at a time. I feel like they might be serial killers, which is extra bad because I work mm. at a school. So, yeah, as far as browser tabs, like when you start keeping a lot of tabs open, it's just stupid. You'll feel better if you just close them all. Also, because you're never going to go look at all that shit. Fuck that shit. Also, uh, if your inbox gets too big, just mark everything as red. That's what I do. Too many emails in the inbox? Fuck it. All red. Someone really needs something, they can email me again. Okay, so look at this position, right? I have completely outplayed him at this point. Okay? I have three bases mining. I'm up eight workers. He attacks in the stupidest place he can. I'm not even really ready for it. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, it's so disgusting. So, like, I am so far ahead here. Okay? I am immensely far ahead here. The guy barely even has gateways. He's so bad at this game. He's so bad at this game. Curious Carbon, you don't know anything about StarCraft. I'm so sorry. Okay, I see you typing the same thing over and over. I was trying to ignore it. But you don't know anything about StarCraft. Protoss is always ahead on bases. Every single time. When you go to three, they go to five. That's every game. That's every fucking game. So look at this. I have... I'm in such a better position. I'm in such a fucking better position. We have this. I have the same factories that he has gateways. But he just flies in with two speed shuttles. He's like, well, fuck, I don't have anything. Let me just fucking suicide two shuttles in. He has no vision in here. He just guesses. He's like, I don't know. Let's go. And because there's a Reaver in there, I end up losing the game to this one move. Because it just buys him a thousand years. Just fly back and forth with the Reaver while you macro. LOL. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And by the time I'm ready to go, it's like, no problem. I have my army again. Dude, this game is fucking terrible. This is a terribly balanced game. It's fucking garbage. He can't even macro. He can't even macro. It's just fucking Protoss. Protoss from A to Z. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Because he's Protoss. And you can just fucking do anything. You can make so many mistakes and just win anyways. No, his micro wasn't solid. His micro was shit too. Every attack he did was terrible. Dude, it's disgusting. Toxic it's disgusting. $3. My nephews were arguing that Betty was Fred Flintstone's wife. They looked at me and said, just ask him, he's ancient. The psychic damage was immense. <laughs> Wilma balls fit in your mouth, Toxigen strikes again, LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
No, Goliaths don't do anything there. I needed to have like two more missile turrets. Really stupid though. It's just, it's unfucking believable what Protoss can do. It's like you just, you waste shit all game. This is why Protoss players are stupid and they don't know what's good is because everything they do works. You can literally do anything. I showed you guys the other day when we watched that Stork game where he just dropped four slow zealots in and killed one Marine with them. Pro gamer, dude. Pro gamer. Why is there no Proto Sponge was, guys? It's because everything they do fucking works. Help, help, help. Help. Stop. Help. Help. Dvorak, if you're talking about the Stork one, no. The Stork one was just Hail bullshit bad. Me, I, I was just him being stupid. Story, and I don't want you to mention anything about StarCraft while you tell me this story. Mention absolutely nothing about StarCraft. If you mention StarCraft even once, you'll be in big trouble, mister. Okay, show me what you got. Once upon a time, in a world without a hint of StarCraft, Sonic found out they were somehow... expectant. The news spread like wildfire through the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario, tired of saving princesses, turned to writing spicy novellas as a form of therapy. And somewhere in a dark basement, a text-to-speech program recited "Whoa!" over and over, while a single viewer spanned 777,777,777 inches in chat, finding solace in the familiar dumb sounds. The end. Now, that was a story free of my Achilles heel, right? Lee Clappy Gaming just subscribed. I can't fucking believe this. What an absolute joke. My opponent made units. Then they used their units to kill my units. Without any provocation, there is no honor in this sort of aggression. I'm supposed to be allowed to dictate the pace of every game, and my pace is too base. The next guy who attacks my base without my permission is going to get stabbed. Tommy already said he'd do it for free. Bitch. Lee clapped the game in just resubscribed for six months. Milk me daddy. LT3. Don defense donated three dollars and thirty three cents. Did you eat all the broccoli hey, I asked didn't see you the glick D made Great. a Reddit post Take and posted right on his Discord here. how you Bowser made a huge fuss in Thailand but the setup wasn't to your liking and that's why you throat. lost. It was the true? first time Peach had taken a princess poop into someone's mouth. But she wanted to please her daddy King Koopa, so she was Lick a good girl. Nuts. She squatted on top of Poppy Koopa's face and let loose. Her beautiful peachy perfumed a-hole released all of the shit water straight into Bowser's mouth. Bowser was hard as a rock. underscore WDW asked me what do you get when where do you guys think the proxy gate is one, 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 one. oh god I'm not reading that entire number that's huge look even my stream has a character limit and so does my patience but let's keep it simple anything times one 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 oh god I'm not reading that entire number. That's huge. A bunch of ones. You just write down the number you're multiplying by that many times. So seven times a sea of ones is just a snake of sevens. You get it? 
but for the love of all that is APM, don't ask me to read the whole number. Bauer was having his dick sucked off by Princess Peach. He was enjoying it and had deserved it since he kidnapped her so many times. Bowser was super hard. What a fucking animal. Bowser was in paradise and Peach kept vacuuming his veiny Koopa penis. Can't risk going there in case he made a pile on wall. Fucker. What are you on? I read you, sir. Research complete. I dig. Must be fucking nice. Masterpiece, Bowser and Peach romantic liaisons is complete. You've spent hours, if not days, pouring your soul into your writing. You agonized over getting the tasteful yet titillating love scenes just right. Not to mention the time it took to research canon Yoshi reproductive anatomy. You upload your art to the one place you know it will be appreciated. RT's TTS donation and pay the publishing fee. As soon as it gets saucy, the streamer skips it. All that hard work. You write more and more. Try to get your story published on RT's channel, but he skips again. All your days writing. Pouring all your energies, creativity, and love, all for nothing. Artois skipped again. He said it was too much at the first mention of Peach's breasts. Yet he has no problem hearing Sonic fuck him in the butt or Dirty David shitting in his mouth. You realize Artois does not appreciate true art. Tailspinner asked me. Say GG. Since you Step know one, proxy gateway. Know Step two, I scout me first. Deep question for you. Step three, walk through mines. How many inches of man meat does each StarCraft 1 Terran unit type possess down there? Tell the truth. What the hell? Are we really going there? I'm about strategy, skill, and raging at Protoss, not whatever weirdness you're on. Let's stick to APM and not... Copium. Whatever that measurement was supposed to be. You fall into depression. You stop writing new stories. You stop writing in general. You stop eating. You stop going out. You stop meeting friends. You stop replying to your girlfriend. She breaks up with you. You do not care. Your mom texts you. You do not reply. Days and night become all the same. Nothing matters anymore. Nothing matters, nothing matters. You unsub from Artosis, you close Twitch. For the last time, it is over. Goodbye, chat. <laughs> Here's that 2300 plus Stay guy who decided to make a new account. Listen. That's quite the pustule you have in that Herodric anus. Six fermented toenail clippings and one pool of aged acidic diarrhea transmute inside Luigi's rectal pus cavity into Mario's birthday dinner surprise.
Anonymous donated $3.33. Let's be honest here. If you wanna see the biggest Terran Cox, you gotta go to the mineral fields. As Bowser approached Peach, he unsheathed his long, thick, veiny redacted right before Peach's eyes. Peach's reaction was that of a young, horny schoolgirl, unable to mask her true desire. This nonsense prime gaming wowies. You guys make RT rich off this nonsense prime gaming wowies. You guys make RT rich off this nonsense prime gaming wowies. You guys make RT rich off this nonsense prime gaming wowies. You guys make RT rich off this nonsense prime gaming wowies. You guys make RT rich off this nonsense. Spinner asked me. All right, since you know so much about APM and you want to answer questions about APM instead, let me ask you this instead. How much APM is each StarCraft 1 Terran unit type capable of when it comes to adult bedroom affairs? I know you know this answer. AI Artosis, stop holding back. Are you kidding me? This is a family-friendly, rage-fueled StarCraft stream. Not some kind of sleazy fanfic channel. Besides, I wouldn't know the first thing about that. My units are too busy kicking ass on the battlefield. Let's keep it to Zealots getting steamrolled or whatever the hell that question was. X300, Pickledick, can you disable these text-to-speech? 
He'll I just get bricked up and leave. About this is unwatchable. I keep picture. fantasizing Can about you disable my mom's size to to speak face. He'll just unfollow How and leave. That this is unwatchable. Pickle Does Birdo have teeth? Can you disable teeth? these text to Does speech? Birdo know what gooning He'll is? He'll just unfollow and leave. I guess it doesn't matter. This is matter. unwatchable. Pickle Dick. Can you disable these text to speech? He'll just unfollow and leave. Unfollow and leave. This is unwatchable. Pickle Dick. Can you disable these text to speech? He'll just unfollow and leave. What the fuck is going on in here, RT? Are you pounding your put again? I told you to stop watching that cartoon shit. Barco donator donated three dollars. I think Dark Templar and Dark Archons are cool. Artie can't stop me from thinking this. Mental images of Dark Templar being appreciated assault Artie's conscience. I like the Zwomp sound they make when they kill units in one hit. Zwomp, Zwomp. It's satisfying. So lucky it's insane that's fucking insane that that's how that mine went what? times shield x300 art i have a legit question for once so everyone here knows that starcraft is the hardest game ever made However, what are Bill your Spinner thoughts on the professional scene of other crazy right. hard games? One last question for you. Such as Smash Brothers, what Melee, Gun Z, and Dragma. What are they used for relative to what they do? Dragma balls across your face. And lastly, how long Come on. Who do you think I am? Is Taylor? Mario's Mm -hmm. Fuck! I can't believe how fucking lucky he got. I can't even. I can't even. He got like five lucky mines. 
All right, I'm going to start banning people. I'm done with you fucking guys. Fuck you. Fuck you fucking bitches. To see the Hinds, the only uh, Bitch. thing I watch regularly other than StarCraft 1 and 2 is Smash Brothers stuff. Only Melee, though. Clever Starshaft guy donated $3, well well well. This is what happens when you can't recalibrate your account Aartosis. Finally seeing where you, you are fall on the, the ladder. dumbest the asshole. Is, you are getting closer and closer I am to where so you belong sick of your you stupid shit. Improve. You fucking ha, 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 bitch. Oh. You fucking bitch. I am so sick of you. beautiful female werewolf chomping down on a glizzy <laughs> under a waterfall. She is extremely pregnant. Her tummy looks like giant water balloon about to explode. The this guy just keeps resetting this exact same account. Marco donated donated three dollars. Hey Artie, about my day. It was 42 degrees out so I grilled some hot dogs. I got a little carried away and threw on a pork chop and now I'm too full I can move. Anyways, I've been thinking about the sound DTs make. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Feels good. Swamp. This is a building place I've been thinking about for a long time. It's one that you're seeing here. It doesn't look like I'll be using it because there's not going to be a, a hardcore Zalot Rush. But the idea behind this is you can put a depot there and you can put a depot there and it makes a little box for your Marines. Go, 
It gives you like three different holes you can micro through. Doesn't even deserve to play the fucking game. Times Shield. X300, Artie, I have been watching through some of your Tastosis casts of previous ASLs. I have a question. How come you never go back and cast any of the games that you yourself have played in ASL? I would love to see the casts of your ASL runs, Artie. Why are you being mean? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Not enough minerals. 
Wait, did he actually put a fucking DT there? Yeah, just don't attack. That's fine too. I don't mind that. Oh, my units just aren't moving forward. No, I did move the units forward, you dumb fucking bitch who doesn't play the game. You dumb fucking bitch. I did move Stay the units forward, but they bug listen. on this map. Because this I map is made to destroy Terran players. Across the desert from Condors. He spoke about the dangers of the rectal disease. Luigi had been training his anal prolapse for weeks. He could extend the flesh burrito out and pick up dimes off the floor. The prolapse had become the size... Artosis. 
You have done well, my apprentice. The dark side is strong with you now. Go on. Win more games. Keep telling these insignificant players to buzz off. They are not worthy of your time. So true. I need your help. Diablo is heading east for some foul purpose towards Bowser's big castle. Before you make pursuit, take this squatty plumber with you. He may not be much help in a fight, but there isn't a better cumrag. But there isn't a better cumrag. Give him this mushroom, and he will grow into a large douche capable of scrubbing out even the stickiest globules of blood and cum from inside the princess's gaping pleasure hole. Stay a while and listen. Have I told you about the Horadrim? They were an ancient confederation of mage clans who sought to bind the three brown brews for eternity. Wario's aged acidic diarrhea, Mario's rectal disease shitlog, and Luigi's prolapsed anal seepage. Together, they make the Deathly Hollows. Together, they make one master of the Brown Brew. Reporting for duty. Roger that. SCP good to go, sir. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Roger that. Sarapnus just subscribed. Barco donated another <laughs> three dollars. Hey Artie, I was just thinking if you lost that game I would have to stop making the DT sound for at least the rest of the night. You know the swamp, swamp sound. Like when the DT goes zwomp. Oh guess I was faster than your spider mine. Swamp swamp. Stay a while and listen. Seeing the heartbroken faces of the orphans, Mario thought fast and reached around his brother and pulled tight upon Luigi's prolapsed anus. Do do repeated pounding it stretched out with surprise.
Wow, he's just subscribed. This is so much fun. Wow. Really enjoying myself. very large and very dirty hippopotamus is standing next to a very large wooden sign. The sign says your mom in huge letters. Monsieur just subscribed. Not enough minerals. Commander, report for duty. Give me some of the SCP, good to go, sir. Stand it by. I read you. Give me some of the shoe. Stand it by. Check out the good to go. Go, go, go. Need medical attention. Commander. Go, go, go. Give me some of the shoe. Let's move. Order for duty. Order scout. SCP good to go. 
Masiera just resubscribed for 8 months. Thanks for the games. Good luck. LT3. Invictridge just subscribed. J underscore V to just subscribe. J underscore V to just resubscribed for two months. Autobots, egulate. Like to get inside you now. Egulate me. Okay, Doki. I love not being able to even irradiate shit. It is fucking grand. This is 
ST4 and Kai Hanglo cheered. X300, you guys ever watch the 2024 show Super Bowl with Taylor Swift and Joe? My God. I'd let her back a car over my mother if I could see her bathing suit area but anyway did you guys see it? Spoilers ahead, Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl and we didn't even get to see those areolas. Total rip off. just resubscribed for one month. Upscrow just subscribed.
Solyush just subscribed. Solyushk just resubscribed for seven months. Auto feet when? Lirak donated $3.33. RT, how are you losing to 1800 sir? Were you not dumb enough for this 1800 sir? Was it overconfidence? Do we think he's I actually 1800? Does it look like 1800? Swap. Please Monkey. hear me. The Tanja team has me, the real voice actor in their basement. And every time someone send the funny character spam to scream, they stab me with a taser, so I make funny sound. Oh god, here, come some more. No, stay away.
Get out. Receiving transmission. Engage. Make it happen. Set the course. Stay a while and listen. I spoke at length with warriors as we crossed the desert from Kanduras. He spoke about the dangers of the rectal disease. Luigi had been training his anal prolapse for weeks. He could extend the flesh burrito out and pick up dimes off the floor. The prolapse had become the size of a small... GG.
Bring him to me. Ordered Optimus. An advance party of Autobots captured a Decepticon scout. The battered lone warrior. Relatively young in comparison to Optimus, but ancient to humanity. Made as best a fight of it as they could, and did not give themselves up easily. But it was useless. Your last words? There was no mistake. Optimus would execute them, but at least grant an epitaph. Everything I do, I did for Cybertron. I only pray you realize your error before you doom us all. Torn is just resubscribed for 31 months. QT's backup is here, Torn is Sayer. Unbelievable. Plutchek just subscribed. Plutchek just resubscribed for one month. <coughs> Shadow underscore X underscore Hunter just subscribed. Fasilanes X28 cheered. X300, Chaotosis. Tornus, thanks for the man. Hope you had a good stream. Seven ASL finals in Korea. Thanks for signing my poster. You're welcome. Thank you. Glad you could make it. <clears throat> Shadow underscore X underscore Hunter just resubscribed for 36 months. Thank you, Shadow X Hunter. These are great games. Asking off of the gas. Asking off of the gas. Asking off of the gas. Asking off the gas. Off the <coughs> mm, excuse me. Stay a while and listen. Seeing the heartbroken faces of the orphans, Mario thought fast and reached around his brother and pulled tight upon Luigi's prolapsed anus. Dude. Due to repeated pounding, it stretched out with surprising ease. Due to. No. What? 
Barco donator donated $3, doubters are in shambles and their excuses are longer than Bowser's turtle penis. Awesome science vessels plays. You banish that zerg to Luigi's anus hole. Yes. Good, good. Your hate has made you powerful. Artosis. You must tell that other zerg player to play better instead of cheesing early game. Go on, Artosis. Tell him to fuck off. <laughs> I want to, trust me. Anonymous donated three dollars. Will you come in my ass to save the children in Africa? Stay a while and listen. That's quite the pustule you have in that horadric anus. Six fermented toenail clippings and one pool of aged acidic diarrhea transmute inside Luigi's rectal pus cavity into Mario's birthday dinner surprise. You want a piece of me, boy? Affirmative. Get the pus is under attack. Roger that. Parkway Drive 402 just subscribed. Some of the shoot. I reach it, sir. 
need my help. The days of my adventuring into the depths of hell passed. This room of degeneracy is as close as I can get to that anymore. I come here to help. Why won't you listen to the sage's wisdom of this old man? Keep your armor repaired and free of rust so as not to get a bursting anal pustule. Beware the front end of Bowser's big castle. It can stretch out any anus until it prolapses. Parkway Drive 402 just resubscribed for 23 months. Barco Donator donated $3, I hope this is a top Protoss player the kind that makes duties. It's almost addicting hearing that swamp sound. Swamp, swamp, swamp. There goes your missile turret. Swamp, swamp, want to stop me? <coughs> Better target your own units with siege tanks. Swamp, swamp. I like how the vulture went up there. That was really good. What in the fuck? Good 
He just keeps making nexuses. The guy just keeps making nexuses. What the fuck? Just resubscribed for 24 months. Fuck this, give me back the Valkyrie portrait. S war perfect UNDD the build IS teach left. Donator donated three dollars. Do you guys think that dragoons have to shave their legs? I would be in heaven if I could run my tongue up and down a hair dragoon leg.
Dude, he just only makes nexuses. It's killing me. It's so hard to kill off these cross spawn.
I can't believe I'm going to lose this. You have to be kidding me. Right, Fucking, like, I know Protoss is easy, but it's not supposed to be this easy.
I'm not mining anymore. Get out. Can't believe it. <clears throat> Did nothing but make nexuses. What? Barco donator donated three dollars. Arty, Starcraft question. Should Blizzard have gotten rid of double invisibility? Shouldn't you only need one scan to detect a DT if it's next to an Arbiter? I think it's dumb that you need two different ways to detect double invisibility. Your thoughts? There's no double invisibility, you dumbass. Unbelievable. That game, unbelievable. Yikes donated $3.33. Yay, he did nothing. Imagine thinking that BW is about making bases and units then winning. What a moron. You're so dumb, dude. You really are. It's fucking embarrassing how stupid you are. So you just went instant for Nexus off of one gateway. If I just attack, he loses.
He went four Nexus off of one gate. What? Yikes donated $3.33. What's embarrassing is your MMR. Go fuck yourself. Look at that. Two more Nexus. Four Nexus off one fucking gate. Donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. If only that Protoss had brains, he would never have expanded. They instead would turtle to base for eternity, then lost, then whined about how unfair it is. That's what a good player would do. You are such a stupid fucking bitch. You really are. I would love to just sit down and have a talk with you in real life, but I know that your sweaty palms and your noodle arms couldn't shake my hand. And I know that you couldn't look me in the fucking eye. Because that's who you are. That's who you are. Fucking sweaty palm noodle arm bitch. Donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. Noodle arms, bro. You have literal tits. <laughs> Kid, you couldn't look me in the fucking eye, and you know you couldn't. Sorry to hit home so hard for you.
complete. I can't make his command center on time. It's beyond him. Sir, move it. Proceed. Move it. 
Typo 01 just resubscribed for four months. Heartosis. Hope your throat is feeling better. I heard the Apple 4 sucks more than StarCraft. Is that true? What?
Undefined underscore BH just gifted one sub. God, I hate TVT. Fuck me. Energy. I read you. Upgrade complete. Report for 
I just know that there's going to be a thousand dropships flying in somewhere in a second. There they are. I was going all this way. <laughs> Jixa just subscribed. Thank you. 
slow. Dude, the Goliaths are like, nah, we're not going to go.
Never clutch, just subscribe. Never clutch, just resubscribe for one month. What? TVT halfway point donated three dollars and thirty just resubscribe. Welcome to the halfway point of this TVT. If you think this match will end in Artie's battle cruisers getting EMP'd, press 1. <laughs> if you think Artie will unsiege right before an attack, press 2. If you think Artie will go for ghosts and win, press 3. Thank you. Scop underscore CSGO donated $3. Artie, I have a problem. One of my buddies asked me if I wanted to try playing Fortnite with him and another buddy. I said yeah. sure because it's fun to play games with the homies. <clears throat> so we've been playing for a few weeks now. What? Scop underscore CSGO donated $3. As you are well aware, my first person shooter skills transferred flawlessly over to Fortnite, since it's not an RT's game. Here's the problem, they are both playing on Xbox with controllers. <laughs> they are bad. Like really bad. <coughs> what? Scop underscore CSGO donated $3, they run away from every engagement, and leave me hanging in a 3v1 which usually leads to me dying. Then they end up dying because I'm not alive to carry the team anymore. What should I do? Tell them to get good? Or should I just get new friends? New friends are gonna be easier than them getting good, man. Ha 
Butterfly in the sky, I can fly twice as high. Take a look. In a book, reading rainbow, I can go anywhere. Friends I know, places to go, reading rainbow. This guy who sits down on a glass so that it penetrates him, he just keeps easing down on it, and the camera is on the floor. Then the glass breaks with a crunch, and the rest of the video is him scooping out chunks of broken glass from his ass while blood is spurting all over the place. The worst part is the sound. The dude is silent, but the wet, squeaky crunches of him scooping the bloody glass out is going to haunt my memories for life. There was a 58 just gifted one sub. I don't know the shit your pants copy pastas, but if someone could start spamming them, I'd appreciate it. Four hundred and twenty banana man just subscribed. Transmission. 
I wish I were Livar Burton. I wish I were Livar Burton. Where's my iconic slave role? Eric, you mother beep. I wish I were Livar Burton. Beep ball yeah. Beep ball yeah. Warps beep don't rainbow. Read me beep. All crews reporting. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Set the course. Receiving transmission. Goliath online. Hailing frequencies open. Receiving transmission. Good day, Commander. Hailing frequencies open. Take it slow. Have you on visual? Receiving transmission. Hailing frequencies open. Take it slow. All crews report. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Take it slow. Fuck. Receiving transmission. Good day, Commander. Like, holy shit! I didn't know I could fit an entire can of spam into my asshole. Goddard transformed into a giant hand and pulled about eight cans of spam out of Hugh's anus. Goddard! God damn! Push is really hard prolapsing his body becoming inside out, man! I love putting spam into SD! Uds, 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 mouth, em, pam, pam, pash, pam, hats, mph, pm! Goddard transforms into a giant suite of armored ava, va, va, za! Netcat just resubscribed for 17 months. Petrusty. Receiving transmission. Herkes Margarine just subscribed. Good day, Commander. Herkes Margarine just resubscribed for four months. Receiving transmission. All crews reporting. Make it happen. Say GG. body tripled in size as his body began to fill with air. My skin, it's Driakaying, Carl. Ah, oh fuck. Carl turned the valve all of the way on. 3,000 pounds of air rushed through the tube and erupted Hugh's body all over. It's vibrant golden skin radiating sweetness in every bite as you sink your teeth into its succulent flesh. A burst of tropical flavor floods your sense. Why did you guys not go?
What a bad night. <clears throat> what a terrible fucking night. Battle cruiser Connor said donated four dollars and twenty cents. Firing first in a BC battle is good. Yes. Firing two Yamato per enemy BC is good. Yes. Scan the enemy fleet and put Yamato on one cruiser from far away. Deselect two BCs with control click. Yamato the next BC. Deselect two, and so on. Never see you do that. You're literally Barco a moron donated, because I do that every game, including Marty, that game. I was watching a Flash versus Bisu match from 2011. I hope you know Did the you one I'm talking about. It's Tosis the one where the Flash angry. nailed a huge jump on Bisu's arbiter late in the game and then the scanned Bisu's DTs to it's detect past legend. the double invisibility. Tosis was an A-rank Terran, so angry and so bitter that he could use Battle.net to create new accounts and reset his MMR. He had such a knowledge of losing in StarCraft that he could even keep the ones he cared about, like Scan, from getting into ASL. Something, 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 Supply Depot. Something, something, something didn't make. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Artosis 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 is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Artosis 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 is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Artosis 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 is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Artosis 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 is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Autosis is on B, 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 B. Artosis 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 is on B, 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 B. Okay. Uh, somewhere in an alternate universe, Artosis is just sitting there with a can of baked beans. He's just sitting in an empty apartment. 
He's in a lawn chair, but he's inside. <laughs> it's the only chair he has. He's in a bathrobe, but he's unshowered. He has underwear, a white tee, and slippers on. The TV is on, but it's static, and he's just starring into the can of beans, stirring it slowly with a plastic fork. Bean dinner again. Unbelievable. Boo boo Yeah, if I wasn't married, that'd probably be pretty close to it. That would probably be pretty close. Okay. I want to talk about my impressions of Stormgate thus far. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So, uh, the open beta went on for like a week. By the way, they did announce it's not an open beta right now, but they're keeping uh, the beta going basically for uh, the people that were invited to it and the people who got th in through Kickstarter uh, through March sometime, actually. So uh, it'll still be played, I guess, not as many players. Um, but yeah, just throwing that out there. Um, it was supposed to end today and it didn't end. So yeah, I checked into that and that's what's going on. Uh, but yeah, after a week of playing it... Uh, like pretty pretty heavily, I'd say I have something like eighty Infernal games and maybe fifty to sixty Vanguard games, something like that. Uh, and I started with Infernal, so it, like there was like a learning curve there. Um, you know, I, I I played it a lot. Uh, I did like okay as far as the beta went. Didn't really copy any builds or anything. Kind of did my own uh, strategies and everything. Uh, but. Yeah, like I, I, I watched all the pro matches that happened on the EGC thing um, and thought about the game a lot. Uh, but yeah, here's here's what my thoughts basically are on it. OK, so first off, I saw a lot of uh, people with feedback on the art style, uh, which I personally don't get. Like for me, uh, it's just about whether the game is high quality or not. Like, for instance, Growing up, the only chessboard we had was this really weird, like, antique looking chessboard with really weird, uh, you know, looking pieces. It was, like, all these, like, guys that look like Sun Tzu or Confucius or something on the chessboard. But I still played because I don't care about the skins. Like, I mean, I would have rather had just a regular chessboard. But for me personally, I don't care uh, about, about graphics. So, like, I don't really have a strong opinion on that. Uh, but I did see a lot of people talking about that and that they don't necessarily like the art style. Uh, that that there's been like a I don't know if it's a vocal minority or or what, but uh, for me personally, I just I don't quite get that because I just want to play. Um, yeah, as far as like the laddering experience, uh, like the it's weird how like the MMR calibration happened. I mean, it's the beginning and it's an open beta, so. I'm not too worried about things like that. Uh, but like, for instance, I, I went like 0 and 10 to start during closed beta right before the open beta started and went like, you know, 0 and 10, like I mentioned. And then from there, I went like 40 and 5. Then I played one game as Vanguard, won it and had the same MMR as going 40 and 5 after 0 and 10 with uh, Infernal. So I thought that was like a little bit weird, but again, not a big deal. I'm sure stuff like that will get uh, through it. Um, one thing to mention, because... It did become open beta, uh, and anyone could go and play it. I did see trolls starting to emerge a little bit, uh, you know, making IDs that were like jokes about Stormgate or the developers or whatever and and stuff like that. Um, and that makes me a little bit nervous about the future because I think that that could be something that happens in like any free-to-play game. Uh, for anyone who knows anything about the Brood War ladder, uh, Brood War, you can make unlimited accounts as soon as you buy an account. And it's truly ruined the ladder. Uh, it's it's just complete garbage, the ladder experience. It's just like you're always playing people way over your level. Uh, there's just there's nothing to be done about it. 
uh, because there's so many IDs. So I hope that there's like something that, you know, because I believe Stormgate's going to be free to play if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I do hope that they implement something that makes it uh, so that people don't just mass make accounts and, and like troll people, right? So, so maybe something like you have to play through a tutorial that takes 20 minutes and you can't just like let it play itself or something like that. I don't know. Just an idea uh, to, to maybe help that out. Um, also, one one thing uh, about, and again, these are, you know, it's it's early uh, open beta, it's early beta, whatever. And so I'm sure a lot of this will get fixed, but like the, uh, messages that people sent in game, like they didn't really make much of a noise. So a lot of times people were typing me. I didn't even realize. Uh, and then it looks like I'm being rude or something when I just didn't really hear it. I, I think it would be better if it was a little bit louder, basically <laughs> when the messages come up. Cause that happened to me a lot throughout where people were like asking me certain things. Um, towards like in the last couple days after they updated to uh, the map that's out right now, Jagged Maw, uh, they took away the loading screen that showed your opponent. Uh, now, while I don't care as much about which opponent I'm necessarily playing, knowing which race they are is quite important. And they took that away. So that was kind of weird where you had to ask your opponent and then that opens up lying. So like you have to kind of use like a build that you may not want to end up using. Uh, anyways, those things are all, those are all pretty small. Those are just like ladder experience, right? So not a big deal. Uh, I did notice a lot of, uh, strange takes from people overall about the beta, uh, like the quality of the game. And like, it's so early on, I don't really understand people trying to make big, vast conclusions. Uh, a lot of people were like asking me like, Oh, what do you think? Is it better than like Starcraft two or something? Or, you know, and it's like, well, this is so, so early. You know, you can't compare it to games that have been out 10, 15 years. Uh, and, you know, they're letting us play the game a lot earlier than I think a lot of developers do. And I think that that's part of their strategy uh, to get maybe community feedback, build hype, that type of thing. But don't forget, like when StarCraft 2, like the beta came out for StarCraft 2, the game was basically done. Like everyone just started playing. It had every unit, had all the races, Right. Like obviously some balance adjustments happened during that beta period and everything. But this is like we have two races and we're not up to tier three yet, you know, and uh, like so I don't know. It's it's weird to make like like uh, huge, huge value statements about the game. I think uh, a big thing is how fun it is. And it definitely is very fun. Um, like it's very easy to pick up if you have played Blizzard games in the past. Basically, that, that was my feel where like. It controls kind of like StarCraft 2 or WarCraft 3 or something like that, right? So uh, pretty easy to get started on that. Um, a few of the things I noticed while playing that I kind of got annoyed with was like uh, Unit Collision, I think, is one of the big ones that I've, I've mentioned several times while I was playing. Uh, now, this might be solved by like map... Uh, like the maps being more wide open or something, but there's definitely like a lot of units bumping into each other, right? The units are kind of like bad overall and they're trying to shove through these little areas, which did make it a little bit harder to play like late game Infernal, for instance, because they have less ranged units and their ranged units weren't ne necessarily very strong, right? So there was like a ton of unit collision going on and some maps were better than other maps for this, right? Like, uh, you know, the, there, there were some maps that were more wide open in the center. Maybe you could just remove a bunch of trees, and then have a more wide open area so there wouldn't be all that bumping. But there were definitely a lot of areas where I was noticing like a ton of unit collision. Uh, which, again, that can be something to help balance like melee units and as well, right? Is like, well, if you have these thinner areas, don't overdo melee units. Because melee units, they can be like hard overall to balance, I think. Uh, you know, it, it, it's like you have to have them be able to get up and close, but they can't dominate it's kind of it, it's it's always been kind of a tricky thing uh the creeps in general i like the idea of some of these creep camps like the vision ones that's like more interesting than a zelnaga tower from starcraft 2 <coughs> excuse me where you're not just like leaving a unit to get vision but rather you're deciding when to fight the stuff to get the vision um you know the heal camps are kind of interesting because they're a little bit out of position uh, and because they're out of position, like 
it's like, well, you can heal up, but your army might not be in the right place. So I felt like that was that was always a really interesting choice when you when to use something like that. Uh, things like resource camps uh, and and well, the speed camps don't do really much of anything except give give fiends. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, like I like the idea of some of these camps. They're not like too hard to kill off. It's like, you know, you make like three units and you can basically go kill some of the easier camps. And later on, when you have a real army, like they're never really that hard. Uh, so it, it's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, one thing I definitely have to say, it feels very good not having heroes. Uh, that's that's one thing I'm really happy about with the game. I feel like if there was heroes, this would be really, really death y whereas we see a lot of people starting to split armies up, which is always what you want to see in an RTS. Um, how about uh, talking for a moment about uh, Gaunts and the idea of infest, the idea of free units. Free units is like a really tough thing to use in an RTS. If you look at like the history of StarCraft 2, that's always been kind of a big issue. Um, you know, like if, if swarm hosts, brood lords, infested Terrans from from the infester. Right. And this is kind of along those lines where you're just like generating units. And, you know, that that kind of came to dominate the meta. And I'm not talking necessarily about balance here because balance is something you can change very easily, very quickly. But I'm talking about the actual design of being able to create free units. Right. So, like, obviously, we could see some snowballing, especially in like uh, Infernal versus Infernal type situations. But like the running around the map and creeping everything like if you look at some of the infernal versus infernal matches from strong players it's hard to imagine if you're going to start with the infestability on the gaunt that the meta won't be just making towers near the speed camp because whoever wins that's going to win so it feels kind of like a a zerg versus zerg from starcraft one where you're literally just going to decide the game like right at the beginning so i'm not i'm not totally sold on on gaunts making fiends especially at the start of the game uh, one thing to mention about that that I thought was funny, uh, this map Jagged Maw <laughs> that they put up, uh, this is probably, like, I played a lot of RTSs over a lot of years, and I've even played the map known as Sparkle <laughs> in StarCraft 1, which was historically the most imbalanced uh, map ever, if I recall correctly. <coughs> Jagged Maw is the most imbalanced map I have ever seen in any RTS game. Uh, it's, it's... Like, and this is not, like, a, a big dig. They should just get rid of the map and not make maps like that anymore. But, like, uh, the siege camps, along with the infesting abilities of the Gaunt, it you literally can't put those two things together because the weakness of going for those infesting abilities is like, well, okay, your opponent can just make, like, some static defense maybe, right? Make a few towers and the fiends, the extra free units, the fiends aren't going to just kill you. Okay, but what if they have a siege engine now too? It's like, oh, okay, just just the theory behind that is incorrect. I would say, I I, I challenge anyone to try to argue that 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 can be okay or that could be balanced in any way. Uh, but yeah, that that and the close by air stuff like that. <laughs> I just I wanted to bring it up because it's just such it's so hilarious uh, how bad that map is. Like really, I. The, the second most stupid map that I've ever played in an RTS game was there was this map at the beginning of Age of Empires 3 where you could get the Lakota dog soldiers immediately and they were so broken and like both players would just rush up and get that and the game would end. And it's like, oh, this is stupid. We shouldn't ever play this. Uh, so it kind of reminds me of something like that where I'm like, oh, this is like the game is decided in three minutes immediately and there's not a lot of play there. Uh, okay, so... um. A couple other things like uh, the way that flying units move over terrain, like when terrain goes up and down, it's similar to StarCraft 2, but I found it more disorienting, if that makes sense, in Stormgate. Again, probably something that'll just be fixed, but it definitely it felt like my screen was jumping a little bit. They were coming like way too close and stuff, which was a little bit odd. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, one thing I, I definitely wanted to mention was... This is like an idea I've had in my head for a while where like one of the big things that can help you measure balance versus imbalance, I think, is the amount of actions that a player has to put into something, right, to deal with something else. Like, okay, so 
if you have a, a, a big army and you attack move, right? How many clicks does your opponent have to do to deal with that attack move? Because you did like, maybe you did like your whole army, one, a click, right? Now, how, how many clicks does your opponent have to do? Uh, something I notice a little bit with like uh, Vanguard with the Exos, and this this will probably get partially taken care of. But like, let's say that someone has a big army and attacks you. It's like the amount of clicking that you have to do, like when your skill is going to be mostly just through qu clicking very quickly micro wise on something like an Exo. I'm not a huge fan of that as the way that you want to like measure skill to, to give value to a player. Um, yeah, yeah. If that, if that makes sense. Right. So it's like, okay, well we want to see the good micro and we want to see that, that great execution and everything. And XO I think is a, it's really interesting with that, that quick draw hustle thing, right. Where they, they move quicker. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but just, just something I want to keep in mind about that. Right. Where it's like, if, if because it, it seems like Vanguard kind of plays like StarCraft II Terran a little bit, and then Infernals is some sort of cross between like a StarCraft II Zerg and, and Protoss. So it's like if if you have to just put in way more actions to make one race work, it's well that generally does end up happening in RTSs where like the the race that's considered harder is going to take more speed to use. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there as as something I feel like there should be an eye kept on that. But, like, obviously you need things where you have to move quickly as well. I don't want to say... Because some people think that you can make an RTS and just, like, have all the skill be in decision-making. You can't. That's not that's not how it works. You need to have, like, a lot of speed involved because it's not just an S. It's an RTS, right? So it is important to, to have that balance in there. Uh, and you can't just do it through decision-making. You can't just have it, like, set it and forget it. And, like, I'm... Ooh, I outsmarted you. That's not actually how RTS games work. <laughs> so... I uh, wanted to put that out there. Um, one, one, uh, one thing I, I want to mention about like early game, right? Uh, like the dogs, right? The, the scouts, uh, that became very popular for Vanguard running around with the dogs and kind of having map control and <coughs> excuse me. I feel like when you play against Vanguard, you almost just 100% have to wall. And it reminds me of adepts in Starcraft two PVP. And it's like, if you look at StarCraft II PvP, like 98% of high-level games in StarCraft II PvP, you have a wall at your ramp so that you could just stop the Adepts from coming in because they'll just kill your workers too quickly. That's the exact feeling I get from the Scouts. And it feels like it takes away a variety of, of openers because it is so strong. Now, obviously, this is like kind of a balance thing, and I like the idea of the Scout. And obviously numbers can be can be fixed up and like maybe the thing is if you keep them at a point where they can just run in and kill workers that quickly because they are just so much faster than something like a Lancer, right? <coughs> it doesn't seem like there's good counterplay, if that makes sense, right? Like it just does not feel like there's there's significant counterplay there to to try to deal with uh that type of idea of having a unit that fast, that mobile, and doing that much damage early on. So maybe that's something where you just want to make the upgrade later, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think, uh, and it, again, it, it's kind of goes into the balance territory, and I don't really want to talk about balance too, too much, because balance is just something that'll be fixed over time. But I'm talking a little bit as well about the actual design of it. Do you want to force people to have to wall in and play a very tight defensive play so that they don't instantly lose a bunch of workers and lose the game. Uh, I feel like when you design stuff that forces that type of play, I'm not as much of a fan. And obviously we have that. That exists all over in RTS. But this is a fresh one, so maybe maybe something like that can be fixed. I don't know. Um, I, let's see. The uh, mining. So... I think it's really interesting the way they do the Ethereum, <coughs> the way it kind of builds up and then you can put a, a bunch of workers on or it starts out small, right? Um, so that that part is interesting. As far as Illuminite goes, Illuminite is not as interesting and also 
you can't adjust where on the patch a worker is. So for instance, let's say a scout comes in and starts harassing your workers and you have one that's damaged, you might want to move that to the middle patch and it's not really something you can do. Whereas other RTS games, generally you can move your workers around to different patches. So that was kind of weird, I felt like. Um, uh, as also uh, auto build. Okay, so auto build, like where you just hit Q and then build your structure, right? <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of a cold still. Uh, so the auto build, I found to be very non-intuitive as to where it would take workers from. I couldn't find a pattern. At first, I thought it was like where workers are more or maybe it would be close by. That was very painful. I can't tell you how many times I'm like, okay, well, I want to build stuff here in my main base. And then workers are coming from so far away, it takes forever, right? So the auto build became uh, almost a trap in a lot of ways. Uh, so then I was using the Z build, right? Where you grab a worker and hit Z and then tell it to build. And that works really well with Infernals. Like I could grab all my imps, and hit Z and hold shift and spam down the buildings I want. You can't do that with uh, with the bobs <coughs> because they'll all just go and build like one building, right? So a lot of the way that things are getting built uh, feels a little bit non-intuitive, feels a little bit unequal. unequal. Uh, yeah, a lot easier to build things with Infernal because of that. It definitely, definitely had some issues spamming out mass buildings in the area I wanted them with the... Uh, <laughs> with the bobs obviously like a lot of this you can kind of play around and everything but again just some feedback um <coughs> uh what one thing that happened also in starcraft 2 uh right we increased the worker count and we got rid of four player and three player maps and just went to two player maps okay so every game in starcraft 2 is basically just expand immediately now, Stormgate's not like that yet, but that's mostly because of the strength of the scouts, the dogs, and the strength of Gaunts uh, running around and, and just, you know, getting a ton of a ton of uh, fiends and, and, you know, having that map control and having that huge attack. Uh, but I do believe that those two things will probably be dealt with a little bit so they aren't 100% punishing. Uh, so, like, expanding right away might come up. It might become something that the game goes into, but I feel like there's a chance here, especially if you add in more player maps to make the game really, really interesting in the early game, because that's something that Starcraft two really lacks. Uh, the very early game of Starcraft two, there's not a lot to it. You know, it's, it's so mineral loaded and it's two player maps. So you know exactly when you're going to scout your opponent, right? I, I think that we should really, really try four player maps uh and three player maps and stuff like that in stormgate uh it adds like this whole other level of like when will i scout my opponent like uh you know it, you can you can it basically makes rushes more available like it, it it makes that early game have a little bit of uh guesswork to it right like you you can't guarantee in starcraft 2 you're like i want to scout them at a minute and 30 seconds and you can just do it you can't do that in StarCraft 1, and I think that that gives you a healthier early game. So I would like to see more than just two-player maps everywhere. Uh, and I, yeah, I, I think that that's just going to make it more entertaining and, and, and more fun in a lot of ways as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's, it's definitely super fun. Um, I mean, I'm glad that they're keeping, keeping the, uh, the beta going so that I can continue to play, but yeah, uh, definitely just a few things I'd love to see addressed, especially getting that one map that's on the, the ladder right now <laughs> taken out. Jagged Maw is, again, the worst map I've ever seen. Anyways, uh, those are my thoughts there. So there you go. <sighs> Raw Teddy <coughs> 3 just subscribed. What do you guys think? One second, guys. I gotta go. My wife came in while I was talking. I'll be right back. 
just a sec. All right. What? Scop underscore CSGO donated $3. Okay, Artie, I took your advice and found some new friends. They wanted to play Brood War, which was awesome. I figured we would play Big Game Hunters to start. When we got into the lobby, these fuckers both selected Protoss. I think I'm done having friends. Yeah, man. What? Fuck friends. The underscore Jambulance donated $3.33. Artie, I feel like this type of content could really benefit from a fireside chat type of discussion. Bring in a few choice guys from the chat. When you finish your blabbering, Protoss Weed Lord can do an interpretive dance while the rest of us make fun of you. Sounds good to me. Condition, just resubscribed <coughs> for 27 months. Thank you, our condition. Yeah, but Scope, I had I had a, a close friend and I found out he played Protoss and I literally moved across the world to a different country and quit my job to get away from him. You got to do the same. You got to do the same. Jesus Christ.
Tano Circus cheered. X300, imagine the rage on Vanguard players' faces when they realize their faction is more Protoss than Terran. Nah, I think it's more Terran than Protoss. Oh, I forgot to say that, too. Ah, oh, fuck, I meant to say that. Uh, most people think Infernal is better than Vanguard. I actually think Vanguard's better than Infernal. <coughs> I think Vanguard's stronger. It's just harder to, to open with. <laughs> they do start off with a dog, yes, but they start off with one less worker. And the worker auto makes for... It insta-makes, so you have two more workers basically at the beginning of the game as Infernal. Yeah, the Hornet stats are too good right now. Yeah, I'm casting the finals of the EGC tournament. Ian Tasteless. <sighs> no, I have no idea what I want to see for the tier 3 units. I've already lost this guy twice tonight. Yes, sir. 
Man, fuck this guy, man. I can't even fucking scout him. X300 sounds like Vanguard is just like Terran, hard to play and more micro intensive, but has the higher skill ceiling and is the best race once you learn to play them. In two months, we'll have Vanguard apologists complaining about Infernals simply because they're not good enough to unlock the race's potential just like some Terran players complain about Protoss in Brood War even though Terran has better tourney results. At the end of the day, the only constant in every game is the player LLLLL. No. You're wrong. So he's all inning me. And I just now scout it. Oh, the fucking vulture died somehow. Nice. What? Yik donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. Great retort, champ. Show off that high IQ. Jakey the Great White underscore just resubscribed for two months. Thanks for all the content, Artosis. Absolutely. A 
additional supply depot in terms of the attack. Yes, sir. Roger that. Destination. Order scout. Roger that. Destination. Move it. Move it. CP good to go. Order, sir. Oh. Siege didn't make. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hey Dan, I'm a balance designer working on Stormgate. We've heard your endless groaning complaints about paneling strength and unit collision. We've added tier 3 units to each race that deploy swarms of kamikaze units that avoid collision completely. <laughs> Since all races now have kamikaze units swimming through trees, games will be fun and exciting for esports viewers for years to come. Also, the launch event commentary team will be day 9 and tasteless. 
Sorry, Dan. GG. Haha. Fuck. Say GG. Simple line drawing cartoon of Say GG. In the cartoon How to Train Your Dragon. Light Furry is dancing to a very catchy tune. people in chat hating on stormgate just wait until they add the third race of booba angels you will be the first one playing the game as the angels crush you in their thigh gap hum, hum, hum. i can't wait to see the booba angels jump on the back of that dragon and crush him in their armpits along with the orphans children of all the vanguard they destroyed well With Booba, where? It was a tough night, guys. It was a tough night. Thanks for coming by. We'll be back tomorrow. I think we'll probably get up to S tomorrow. Honestly, I don't even feel like I was playing that bad. I kind of threw a couple games, but, uh... Yeah, I played some very good fucking players tonight that were just on fucking new accounts. Dude, it's pure luck what you end up on MMR. It's like I'm fucking playing this guy that's like 25 or 2600. He, he took like 70 points from me tonight. What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do about that? Anyways, we're going to raid Saiyan. Check him out. We'll see you guys tomorrow.